Hi, this is Marilyn from MacFusion. Today I am going to do a video that's a little bit different. It was um, requested of me to do it. Uh, it's what's in your dock, and I'm going to add on to it what's in your menu bar. I have a lot of people that ask questions anytime I um, post a picture of my desktop. And you'll see I changed my desktop, and I'm sure everybody will be like, where'd you get the fail whale desktop? Um, Google fail whale desktop, and you'll find links. I had to resize it a little bit because it's not made for this ratio, but um, there it is. So the first thing that people are noticing, and, and I'll let you know right now, this is my personal account on this computer. This is not my normal video account. So if you see anything that offends your delicate sensibilities, I apologize ahead of time, but uh, this is me. So I wanted to show you um, what I do and what I use on a daily basis. Uh, first thing people notice is this, and I get, what's that weather widget on your desktop? It's actually not a weather widget. It's a program called Geek Tool, which is really complicated to explain. And um, somebody on YouTube, Talina from Cool Enough for a Mac, does fantastic uh, tutorial videos, multiple of them, on Geek Tool. So I will do a link in the description for her site so that way you can go learn Geek Tool. Don't ask me any questions about it because um, it was not fun to learn. <laughs> So this is Geek Tool up here, and, and actually, let me show you, just so you can get an idea of um, what's going on with it. Yeah, so in my system preferences, Geek Tool, each one of these is a separate little box of what's going on in there. Um, down here is my uptime. I like to know how long my computer's been up and running. So you'll see I just uh, restarted it today. It's been, uh, it's been up for less than a couple hours. So that's Geek Tool. Okay, I guess we'll start with um, the menu bar, uh, the normal stuff that, that everybody has, uh, like Spotlight. Um, I also have in there uh, to switch users, because I keep different users on my machine. I keep a, a demo user for a specific client of mine, and it has everything set up to teach them their specific stuff. I have a Mac Fusion Girl, which um, I use occasionally, and I, I will probably be using for when I give you guys some mail videos, um, mail tutorial videos. I love the mail app that Apple gives you in um, OS X, and there's a lot of fun little things you can do with it that I think most people aren't using. Um, when I put the Geek Tool clock on my desktop, I decided to change this to an analog clock. Um, the funny part about that is is I keep my, my desktop so cluttered that half the time I have to um, hit my quick key for, for expose to sweep everything away so I can see what time it is. Um, I also like to do percentage of battery remaining. Uh, obviously this is your sound, um, Wi-Fi. This here is a, is an Apple script menu and there's, um, address book scripts. I've, I think I've done a blog post. I'll give you a blog post on my mail scripts. I love mail scripts. I don't use them as much, um, as I used to. And, uh, Mostly I, I use them to try and cut people off of Entourage because there were some things that Entourage could do that Mail couldn't natively do, but I found that um, most of those things could be done in Mail scripts. So um, I'll link to the blog post on that. This little lock, I like this. I can't show you right now. It's going to cut off my video. But lock screen, this will go ahead and lock my, my screen saver so that you need a, a password to log back into my screen. Uh, this is the Mobile Me Sync. Obviously Bluetooth, so that way I can easily reconnect my mouse or whatever. This is Facebook uh, desktop notifications. Um, while the app Cocktail will also display like my friends' updates and Facebooks right in the app, um, this one I like because if somebody replies to my post, it'll pop up a little growl notification and, and show me what it says so I don't have to log into Facebook. Uh, Evernote. And this is Inklet. I just did a video about that the other day. Oh, this one, one of my favorite. So iFi, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my camera right now, and I'm gonna take a picture of my computer. It's gonna be dark and fuzzy, but it takes a few seconds for it to automatically upload, so I wanna give it a second to do that. So iFi works with my little SD card. It's actually an iFi SD card that has wireless in it, and uh, I can take a picture on my camera, and as long as it's on the network that I've specified it, um, it will automatically wirelessly download to my computer. I mean, how awesome is that? Um, I think that was one of the reasons, like the first year of um, my, my littlest son, most of the pictures that I took of him 
that I posted were off of my iPhone because it was just so easy and I didn't have to go find a cable, plug in the camera, download the pictures, upload them to Facebook. Um, but with this now, I can take all the pictures I want, automatically upload them to my, my computer. Um, I have it set to, to, to load into iPhoto, but you can set it up. There it goes. And uh, the other thing that it does is I've got it set up so it does geotagging, which is pretty cool. So when we were in Hawaii, I had it all geotagged, and every place we were on um, Oahu, it tagged my photo with the exact location on the map, which is way cool. Over here, I, and this is one I'm still trying to figure out, is uh, clips. Clips I got from the Mac Heist Nano Bundle, and it's pretty cool. Um, I set up some abbreviations today. so. I have a lot of links that I have to give people all the time, so um, I did some abbreviations. So for my YouTube channel, I did uh, MFTV, and it automatically fills in my whole YouTube thing. Um, for uh, Kevin's uh, Twitter URL, twit, he's fake, MacFusion. Mine is twit MFG, which didn't work. Yeah, this thing's a little glitchy, by the way. I'll go ahead and let you know that right now. Let's see if uh, my MFAA, yeah, so my our newest Mac Fusion specific uh, Twitter worked. I don't know why my Mac Fusion girl didn't work. Um, so it's a little, a little glitchy. Um, this one I set up as fake, which I probably shouldn't use the word fake since I might use that in some other typing, but it automatically adds my husband in Twitter so I can easily send him messages. Um, yeah, I don't know why that one didn't work. Okay, so that's the menu bar, all my drop down menus. This one is for screen flow, and that one actually is only present when I'm uh, currently filming. 